Big fish. Oh, you broke me up. Horrible catch. Oh, that guy's been caught a few times. What's that? Something was swimming with it. My God, what was that? guys both cameras died I got a fish in the live well to show you but there's some more activity over here I'm gonna see if I can catch whatever's making this noise over here he's on oh Big old sunfish. I caught him. I caught what was over there, so. There might be something else, so I'm gonna keep trying. So I don't know if you guys can see that, that little stick sticking out of the water. I saw it wiggling, so my assumption was a little bass was hitting it. So I cast it over there and Ate this wacky rig. Let's see what else is going on over here. Let's release this fish, guys. Not keep him in the live well any longer. Just wanted to see what else was uh, back here. There he is. Yeah, not much water. I'll get him revived here. God, it got me. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Another fish jumping over there, so let's get him back in. 
He's got a lot of feist to him, so I think he's gonna be fine. There he goes. There we go. I saw one pounder. Pulled this guy out of that tree right there. Let's put him back to his home. Okay, so once again, GoPro died on both GoPros, disc full. And right when I started fishing for this, I came back to uh, this guy right here. Um, I missed a fish here earlier. It had a pretty good bite. So I came back, threw a wacky rig in there again, and caught it. And he is in the live well, so I'm going to show him to you. And then I'm going to fish the spot some more, see if there's anything else in there. All right, guys, there he is, Fish number three or so. I'm for nothing. I think my trolling motor's getting a little weak. I haven't charged it in like three trips, so it's pretty good. Come on, one fellas. Got him. Got him. Not a bad one. About, it's probably 1.3 ish. Yeah. So a little info on that last fish is I'm fishing in the back of this cove pocket right here. And there's some overhanging trees with some shade. And I saw it, I saw that bass swirl. Oh, got a bite. Got one. Jeez, that might be the same one. Let me get this out of here. Not 
sure if that's the same one or not, but it is damn near the same size. <laughs> Looks the same. I think I caught one like this last year. Let's show that footage of last year. I think I caught one just like this. Let's see if it's the same fish. Guys, let me know down in the comments. Right in the roof of the mouth. The spot, guys. Birdie. About a pounder. Anyways, let's get this guy back and keep casting into that shade. I'll give you a little bit more of an update. Anyways, where was I? Casting into this shade. Trying to get a bite. Because it's pretty hot out. I bet those bass trying to stay out of the sun chasing fish in this shade right here there's a lot of bait fish in this shade so um i guess i'll cast back in there see what happens but i might have to shut you guys off here in a little bit i'm gonna shut you guys off i'll uh i'll be back here in a little bit especially if i get another fish Looks like the same one, but it might be bigger. It's got more spunk in it. I think this one's bigger. Oh, oh this one's bigger. Oh, this one's bigger. This might be the biggest one of the trip. Can't believe that boat flipped him. That rod. Nice one guys, this is a nice one. Maybe a 2.5, let's get a weight on him. Two point one six, two point one eight. He's wiggling. Uh oh. Okay, biggest fish of the trip so far. Two point one eight. Its mouth is like super rough. Real nice fish. That's what I came here for. Let's see if I can upgrade. This is not the same fish as that last one. Let's get him back in the water and get him breathing. God, his mouth is rough. Oh, he's biting me. You gonna let go, guy? You're free. He's biting onto my thumb. There he goes. See ya. Nice fish. Nice freaking fish. Okay. Might leave you guys rolling for a little bit. Um, SD card situation isn't too bad. Got about 30 minutes on it. So let me uh, hit some of these spots. Oh, I just missed one, guys. My worm. 
arm is pretty much done for. No. Nice one. No. Ah! I touched him. I touched him. Freaking idiot. I don't have the freaking net. Shandy, come here. Down. Shandy, down. I should have boat flipped it. About a 2.5 pounder. Ah. Ah. So I grabbed around it and it slipped out of my hand as it came unhooked. Not too happy about that one. And I messed up all that filming for you guys too, so sorry about that. And I messed up all that filming for you guys too, so sorry about that. Caught me a little sunfish. Hey guys, back at the lake house. That's gonna do it for day three. And I can't remember how many fish I caught, probably anywhere between six to eight. And I kind of ended on a bad note. Um, I lost that fish and I squeezed its belly trying to bring it into the boat and it slid out of my hands. I think it was a three pounder, so. Uh, right now, I got one more day which is tomorrow. Quick update for you guys. The other night when I was watching fireworks, I guess I set up my lawn chair on a ant hill. And if you guys are wondering why my feet look so weird, I don't know if the video captured any of it, but it looks like I have chicken pox. But I got destroyed by ants. They bit up my feet. So that's why my feet look so weird. Cause I, set my lawn chair up on an ant hill, so that's always fun, right? Another thing I forgot to mention was, I'm not sure if the GoPro was rolling or not. I think it was off, but you'll see it if it was on. I dropped that garlic yellow dye all over my boat and hands. I got it off my hands, but uh, well, kinda. Still kind of great, kind of yellowish green. I took a bunch of uh, resolve and whatnot to the carpet here, and uh, it didn't come up. So I'll probably, well, I shouldn't say that it halfway came up. It's better than what it was. Um, I may have to look into other options and get online and see if. Uh, there's anything out there, any tips or tricks to get this out. 
you guys have any leave them in the comments below and i'll try to uh get the spot out some other time but at least it'll it'll be a little bit cleaner for the rest of the trip all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video i have been grinding out there on that lake trying to find fish i'm not familiar with the lake trying to get myself familiar and um best scenario to catch fish was in brush piles in the shade so uh, that's the pattern I took and I'm going to take it uh, tomorrow on part three of this video so make sure you stay tuned and check out part three coming up here shortly so as always thank you for watching please hit that like button if you enjoyed this and make sure to subscribe for more Redbeard Outdoors content I will see you guys in the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep fishing. I'll catch you on the next one.